Hey everyone, my name is Wedge. Magic Origins spoilers have started, I, I guess. We've never seen a release like this. Cards are trickling out at a weird pace, even though the official season isn't supposed to start until next Monday, but whatever. We got your back. In today's video, we'll catch up on the cards officially spoiled so far. Not leaked, spoiled. I've been burned too many times. Let's get hyped. We'll start off with one of the new Origins Planeswalkers. Kytheon, Hero of Akros, is one white mana for a 2-1 legendary creature human soldier. At end of combat, if Kytheon and at least two other creatures attack this combat, exile Kytheon, then return to the battlefield transformed under his owner's control. You can also pay three mana to give him indestructible until end of turn. When he flips, he becomes Gideon Battleforge, a planeswalker with three loyalty. You can plus two to have up to one target creature and opponent controls attack Gideon during his controller's next turn if able. You can also plus one and until your next turn, target creature gains indestructible, untap that creature. Lastly, for zero, Gideon becomes a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible until end of turn. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. This is the kind of Gideon I've been waiting for since Rise of the Eldrazi. Let's talk playability. He's straight up a 2 1 for 1 with upside, so you already got me on board there. He's also a soldier, and that matters a lot to commander players. Also cool. Being able to give him indestructible is nice, but will only really be relevant if he drops late game when you have the mana to sink into him. His real value is being able to come down turn 1, play a couple more 1 drops or raise the alarm or something similar turn 2, and then swing turn 3, flip into Gideon, board control for days. He could end up being one of the fastest planeswalkers ever printed honestly. We haven't dealt with this kind of mechanic before so it's pretty difficult to predict how well it's going to perform, but I gotta say, you know, modern? Yeah? Modern? Maybe, maybe mo modern? Yeah? Huh? Hmm? Our second spoiler of the day, and the card that really pushed me into making this video is Dw D Dwayne Johnson Guilt Leaf Dane. Two colorless and two green for a 3-4 legendary creature elf warrior with reach. Other elf creatures you control get plus one plus one. Whenever it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf you control. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. Everything else on this card is basically a blur as soon as I saw that it was an elf lore. You do realize what this means. If there is significant tribal support in Origins, commander players are going to have to change their underpants probably multiple times. We've already seen Leaf Gilder as a throwback to Lorwyn, but here's a Guilt Leaf Lord. This could be a sign of something awesome. Talking playability, 4 mana is a little expensive for this card, which means that it probably won't find a home in Legacy Elves. While the abilities are nice, that deck's curve is criminally low and 4 mana is just too much. I also think it's interesting how this conveniently avoids collected company. That will hurt its potential in Modern, but who knows, maybe if you don't have Elvish Champion or Elvish Arch Druids, you could use this, I, I guess. The 4 mana cost really turns me away from using it. Regardless, Azuri will love it, Risk the Redeemed will love it, I think you can expect to see this in Commander for a long time, plus who knows? Maybe Tribal will come back a little bit in Standard. Remember, there were Elves on Zendikar the last time we were there. Just, you know, food for thought. What do you all think about these two new cards? I especially want to know what you think about New Gideon. Like him? Hate him? Jealous of those sideburns? Gotta know. Remember, spoiler season officially starts Monday, which means we'll be here every day with officially spoiled cards, so don't miss it. As always, subscribe for the latest and most reliable Magic Origin spoiler information you could ever need. This is the Manasaurus, I'm Wedge, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.